What is going on guys? Allah here bringing you guys gameplay slash commentary on the map, uh, baby. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to win gunfights. Now, if you guys don't know what gunfights are, gunfights are when you are one on one in front of each other against a person and they are shooting at you, you are shooting at them. So, there's a few, a lot of tips and to winning gunfights and first off, you're going to want if you haven't already got wired connection, try, if you can, get a uh, Ethernet cable and connecting it to your Xbox. That's like fast connection, so you can actually have an advantage over the other player. But if you can't do that, then try getting your Wi-Fi modem as close as you can to uh, your Xbox. And as you see, this game's not the best, by the way. I don't get a camera or anything. I just start off alright. It's just an example because I've won... I get into a lot of gunfights, and um, so try doing that with your connection. Uh, basically, yeah, that's about it. And then first, first tip number one: you're gonna have to pre-aim. If you want to win gunfights, you're gonna want to pre-aim. Pre-aiming is basically it's so important in this game. Since you die in like one or two shots, pre-aiming it's so important. Then tip number two. Go into a private match and try um try and just put on seventeen bots, put the radar on, and just try and keep and put them on recruit. By the way, don't put them on veteran or anything. And keep trying to beat the bots, just outgun the bots, and eventually over time you'll stop missing shots. You'll get a lot more fluent with shooting. You, if that makes sense, you you'll just be able to aim a lot better. Now, tip number three. Find a punch a comfortable gun. Like if you use a comfortable gun, such as say, like, if your comfortable gun is the bison, use the bison. And it also depends on attachments of the gun. Like if you're not winning gunfights, try using a muzzle brake on your gun. A muzzle brake and foregrip always does the trick with a with a bison. Most SMGs I use a foregrip. I think every SMG. Anyway, then so. But if your comfortable gun's like the IA-2, you might want to find another comfortable gun because although the IA-2 is high in damage, it shoots really slow. So maybe try using the AK-12, Honey Badger, MTAR, Vector, something like that. Then the next two, this is tip number four, I think. I don't, I'm not too sure. Anyway, you're gonna try and find a. You're gonna you. I don't know if you guys want to really invest in this, but you could change your button layout to tactical, and or uh, you could change it to tactical, so then you can drop shot. Now, tactical swips, swaps B and your right analog stick around, so your right analog stick is to crouch, so you can drop while shooting and aiming at the same time. Then... There's jump shotting, which you don't have to invest anything in this. It's just pressing A while jump, like shooting like that. I tried, well, I didn't really try then, but I was looking over that thing. And that helps out a lot. So that's another good thing you can do, jump shotting. And these, both, all the competitive teams do this. Pro teams, they all jump shot and drop shot. Jump shotting is more prevalent in the Call of Duty, like, competitive scene, but I don't know. Um... I think, uh, I really don't know, I think they'd both just, I think drop, it really depends, jump shotting's better at range, drop shotting's better up close, anyway, so my fifth rule is, or point or whatever I was doing, is using an OP gun, now, OP means overpowered, so using, this is basically like the third one or fourth one, I don't remember, but it's like using the Honey Badger, using the AK-12, using the Vector, using the m -tar. Because these guns, they're going to help you out a lot more. Entar probably not so much because of its ugly iron sights. And also, playing to the style of your gun. So like, in this game, or except for here, you don't see me getting into really any long range gunfights. I'm not trying to shoot people across map. I'm trying to rush around and get as close as I can to my enemy. Because that's what an SMG is good for. But then again, if I was playing with an assault rifle... I'd be sticking around the outsides of the map, sort of long range in engagements, and basically that's what I was, that's what you try and do. And 
because, and again, if you're using a sniper, stick to long range engagements, you're going to win most of the time. Like, it, the chances that someone's going to get you at long range when they've got a assault rifle or SMG, and you got a sniper, very unlikely. And, so that's basically all the tips I have for you guys today. Um, I don't think there's any more, really. Well, there's obviously a few more, but the tactical drop shotting thing, it's definitely, it's not the easiest one to do. It's not the easiest one to change to. It's definitely a hard one. That's what she said. But, it really does help in the long run. Although when you do change to tactical, you can't knife as well. You definitely can't. I don't knife anymore at all. Uh, I barely ever knife. If I do, I just do it out of because I'm empty on a magazine and my first reaction is to just knife. It's the only time I'll ever knife. And basically, that's about it. But I'd say, if that I'd say basically it's all it all comes down to practice in the end. Those tips will help you, but again it all does come down to practice. And basically, yeah, that's about <coughs> about it. You don't you can't just be get use these tips and be a warrior and do it and be really good. But it is going to help and so I'm just going to end the commentary here, like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new, hopefully these tips actually help you guys out, and tomorrow I'm going to do a video on how to keep a high kill streak. So that should be good if, if I can do that, I might just try and get a chem for it or something like that because I'm on a chem drought right now, I can't get chems, and, but anyway, um, well I'll end it here, you can watch the rest of the gameplay if you would like, but it's really nothing special, I think I go on another streak at the end maybe, I'm not too sure, don't go really well, anyway, uh, this has been Ella, I'll see you guys later, like and subscribe.
Satcom active. Nice work, team. 